Hey everybody, I'll be on in just a sec. Uh, just getting Jimbo cozy and comfortable. Um, but yeah, let me know how I sound. You know the dealio. Let me know how the background audio is as well. Um, I changed the cameras a little bit because I noticed that one of them was a little bit blurrier last week. So hopefully that fixes some stuff. And uh, yeah, I'll be on in just a few minutes. Okay, see you soon. Bye. Sorry, I'm not ready yet. I was just wanted to show you how cute Jimbo was, but then he started licking his butt, and then I switched to the wrong camera. <laughs> I'll be on in just a sec. Music is turned up for you, Samantha. I might have turned it a little too high, though. I'm going to turn it down just a little bit more than that. Let me know how that sounds, though. Yeah, like uh, like Samantha just said, please like this uh, video if you can. We're trying to get to 100 or 250 likes, and then we're gonna do another giveaway next week. So, if you can get it to that, uh, that would be cool. We were so close last week. All right, let's get rocking and rolling. Hello, everybody. Sorry, I didn't mean to yell. Hi everybody, welcome to the stream. Today, we are gonna be finishing crocheting our gigantinormous dragon, which we were working on last week. Here you can see one of our wings. So you can kind of get an idea of how big we're going here. This was, this is the dragon pattern that we're working off of, and this is how big the wing is for the new one. So it's gonna be pretty massive. Um, I am super excited to finish it. Hopefully we'll finish it today. Uh, We'll see. Uh, if it's not finished today, that's okay because next week we're gonna be doing a work in progress live stream. So if we absolutely can't finish it, that'll be a perfect stream for next week. Um, 
Okay, so a couple things to go through before we get started. The first thing is if you like this video, prove it. Like down below, subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. It's a great way to support the channel. If you'd like to support this channel in other ways, I have a few different ways you can do so. Um, actually, before I talk about that, let's talk about how uh, the materials that you need if you want to crochet along with me. So the first thing that you're going to need is the pattern, which I actually put right here. Clubcrochet.com slash dragon. It's available with a Club Crochet membership or with a purchase. Uh, for the yarn, I'm using all blanket weight yarn. Normally I use cotton worsted weight yarn. That's usually my favorite kind of yarn to use. But today we're gonna to be using a blanket weight yarn to make our giant uh, dragon. Of course, you're gonna need stuffing uh, two different colors of yarn and a white. Um, the white's gonna be for the teeth. The other two colors are gonna be for the two colors of the dragon itself. Um, what else? Oh, I'm using super strong wire today uh, to make the arms and all the limbs and the neck poseable um, and the wings. So if you want to uh, make your character poseable, that's how you should do that. Uh, what else, Jimbo? Any other, any other things that I should be mentioning? Oh, eyes. Um, so unfortunately the best, the biggest size eye that I currently have, I just went through my eyes to see if I had anything else, but the, I think the biggest one I have are these ones, which I believe are like 12 millimeter, which aren't crazy big, which is unfortunate. So we are going to have to figure something out when we get to the eyes. I'm wondering if we should do, I might do a thing where we, um, make a white behind the eye and then add that on to give it a little bit more like oomph. Uh, but I don't know, we'll experiment when we get to that point. Um, what else do you need though? Stuffing, crochet hook. Oh, I'm using a size I, 10 millimeter? Eight millimeter. I'm using a size eight millimeter crochet hook today. And we'll need to grab, grab a pair of scissors in just a second. And yeah, that's everything that you need. If you want to support this channel monetarily, there's a few ways you can do so. The absolute best way to support monetarily is with a Club Crochet membership. Members get early access to future patterns. They get access to the exclusive library of tutorials. I add new ones every single month. Uh, and this month we're making some little mini dragons, which I am really excited for. Uh, that should be coming out in a week or two. Uh, and we got some really big stuff coming next month, uh, but I'll be letting you know more about that later on in this month. Um, if you also want to support monetarily, you can purchase merch and kits in the store. I just added this t-shirt to the store. So if you want to get this t-shirt, it is available now. Um, and yeah, so it's available in a bunch of different sizes, six different colors. Um, you can go with a Jimbo with a pink yarn ball or a green yarn ball. I think it's a pretty accurate depiction of him. Of him. There we go. You can kind of see him. Uh, and of course it comes with this little butthole, which is great. <laughs> uh, let's see, what else? Merch kits in the store. Uh, stickers, I'm, I have these as stickers coming. Uh, I'll add those into the shop next week, as well as a mug. Um, and then the last way you can help support is with a tip. If you really like what's going on here and you'd like to uh, tip me, you can by going to clubcrochet.com slash tip. There are links in the description for everything that I'm talking about today. Uh, so that is a great place to go to. But yeah, I think, I think that's about it. Okay, wait, let me show you really quick. Oh, oh, and that's the other thing. Yeah, I remember now. Uh, if you do tip, we'll add something to the uh, tip. I don't know, what, what do we call this? The tip cam, I guess? Uh, so we'll add something to the background for you if you uh, can tip. Unfortunately, I still don't have my tree. Uh, Dad, if you're watching, I'm waiting. <laughs> but we'll see. Uh, da, 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 da. Onyx uh, asks, if you had a pro membership previously, will it go back to pro automatically? No, it won't. You'll have to sign up yourself. And that's because the pro membership is changing. It's not really, it, I, I'll explain it later this month. Uh, I'm still working on getting all the fine, uh, the stuff finalized for it, but um, it's not gonna 
technically be a pro membership, but it will. It's gonna be weird. I'll, I'll explain it later. Cooper, thank you so much for the tip. We'll we'll go ahead and add that to the background real quick, and then we'll get hooking. And Zoe, you're in Australia. Oh my gosh. Well, hello from Australia. Okay, let's add something to the background for Cooper. Thank you so much, Cooper. We're gonna do. I know. We're gonna go with this mini dragon, which is actually the new pattern from this month. Oh. That was perfect. That was perfect. He fit perfectly on that head. Awesome. Awesome even. The chat is still not on the screen. Ay, yeah, 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 yo. I don't know what's wrong with this chat. Okay, I need to make a note of that. Actually, I'm gonna write that down right now. My to-do list. So that I don't forget, because every week this happens and I need to, oh, by the way, check it out, the sticker. That'll be coming next week. But I'm gonna add this to my to-do list. Uh, look into chat. chat and we'll see if there's another option so that we don't end up with this situation where it's just not showing us the chat again because that's super annoying but what are you gonna do what are you gonna do what are you gonna do okay how thick is the wire let me look Okay, so this is the wire we're using. Um, it is one pound. That's what we're using. Hopefully you can see that. Um, I believe it's, you can really use any kind of wire though. I think this is way stronger than you need, but you know, it's better safe than sorry. And I grabbed our scissors. Okay, chat, how are we doing, guys? Yeah, but he's saying blah, blah, blah. Blanket weight yarn, I... Oh, oh, look. You wanna know the size of blanket weight yarn? This is actually another ball of what we're using. So you can kind of see what we're using. We're using Bernat blanket yarn today. Um, the information you're asking about is right here. So go ahead and, how do I do this? There we go. So it suggests an eight millimeter crochet hook. Um, it says the size is super bulky six weight. So hopefully that helps. Um, okay. It's time to hook and cook. Right, buddy? Let's, let's get this camera better on Jimbo real quick too because he's just so cute. He deserves more. Is that good? No, wait. There we go. He deserves it. I'm sure he'll be bugging us and jump on our lap eventually, but yeah, we'll see. Yeah, it's a uh, six, uh, by the way. You Ray Ray? Are you like a, like a DJ? I'm DJ Irat Rat. The floofy baby. He is such a floofy baby. Oh, Lily, thank you so much. Lily tipped for five bucks. I'm going to go ahead and start adding pom poms for you, Lily. Uh, I actually have. Let me see if I have them right here. Let me add one real quick. Okay, so I got these little pom-poms, right? And these are for people that tip for less than uh, 10 so that they can still get added to the background. Because eventually we're gonna get a tree going on back there uh, in the tip cam right here where all those that pile of stuff is. And so I'm gonna start adding pom-poms for other tips. So in the meantime, I'm just gonna start a collection of these in a bowl. Let me go grab a 
glass. You know what? I'll just put it to the side for right now. But if you tip for five, I'll add a pom pom uh, to the side for you. And then when we get the tree, I'll add a bunch of pom poms to it. Um, someone said I'm glitching. The chat is glitched. Yeah, the chat is just not responding is what it's doing. Let's see, can I fix this? Close that. Chat box, turn that chat box on maybe. Yeah, I don't know. It doesn't want to answer. Okay, but let's just get growing. Going, going. Oh my gosh. What have I done? Okay, wait, let's start by making this yarn a little bit more manageable. Yeah. Okay. Jimbo, I know this is on the ground, and look, he's, you can't see, but he's looking literally directly at the yarn right now, because he knows he wants it. It's like, that's toy? That is a toy, I'm pretty sure? I don't know. All right, we're gonna go ahead and just start crocheting. I got my pattern up on my phone. Check it out. Doesn't that look pretty? Oh, you can't really see it, but it looks really cool. It looks really cool. How's everybody's week been? What have you guys been up to? Anybody been doing anything fun this week? Um, I have been running solo this week. Jules is in San Francisco um, getting ready for a show. Uh, she is rehearsing for a, uh, a, a musical in San Francisco right now called... Um, um, called... On a Clear Day? No, no, on a clear day was the last one. Man, I keep, I did this last week. I did this last week. Um, it starts with a W. Man, oh my gosh. Okay, I hope, hopefully she doesn't see this so she doesn't know that I forgot the name of her show again. But it put it on the spot. Sometimes it's hard to remember. Hey, the chat's working. That's cool. That's good. That's a good news. Go ahead and I'm gonna just highlight something different. There we go. Okay, where are we at? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now, this time I think we're gonna want a stitch marker. So let's get some spare yarn in a different color so we can keep track of the ends of our rounds because I have a feeling this one's gonna get complicated. And I only say that, I only say that because the blanket yarn can, can be kind of difficult to see. Um, let me zoom in the chat too, because it's kind of hard for me to read it. There we go. Okay, there we go. Okay, now I got the chat nice and big so I can read it a lot easier. Okay, get our stitch marker here. Ooh, Samantha's working on some cottage core blanket right now with granny squares and half double crochet. That is cool. I've actually only made one blanket, but something that I've always wanted to do, and actually I might be able to start doing this with the new like idea that I'm gonna launch soon. Um, to do a granny square blanket throughout the entire year and I know he's staring right at the yarn. That is funny. Um, it'd be really cool to do like another granny square. Maybe an even if, even in like each live stream, I make a granny square and you can make a granny square with me. And then like, you don't, I just say like, okay, today we're making a granny square in this color and this color and blah, blah, blah. And then at the end of the year, you don't know what we're making, but I do. And we put it all together to a blanket. That would be cool. I'll start thinking that through but that would be a really cool I think that would be a really cool idea okay now we're on to two here so we go one 
We've got a lot of crocheting to do. Oopsies, I just remembered I want to work around this tail end so that it doesn't come apart. Two. And three. Have I tried mosaic crochet? I actually don't think I ever have tried mosaic crochet. What does mosaic crochet uh, entail? Like, what is that? I don't even know what that, I don't even know what that means. Let's see, and then this is an increase. And then we need three same crochets. One, two, Okay, we got the schnoz starting. One, we're gonna need actually our other color of yarn to do the nostrils so that we don't have to like sew on the nostrils. I'll just like crochet around to make the nostrils. Also, heads up, I'm just gonna say this once so that I don't have to keep repeating it. Uh, I apologize about my pits because they are no doubt gonna get sweaty in this t-shirt. Uh, and I apologize ahead of time. But if you want to uh, super embarrass me, then keep an eye on them because I'm sure they'll become puddles. Okay, that's the only time I'm gonna mention that, so <laughs> probably. Okay, so there's four. Now we need our secondary color here. Oh, he's falling asleep. Little baby. Okay, now we're gonna do our double crochet to the increase like that. That looks pretty good. And then one there. And then another one. Increase. And then switch back over. Okay. See how, see how this looks. Just fine. That looks pretty all right. I'll show you in a second. Crochet around for that stitch. Unfortunately, there's like this weird strand that's doing something strange, but I think I can fix it by just pulling on the inside. There's our nostrils. They don't look bad. I think they're pretty good. Okay, cool. Let's cut this yarn. Hannah, did you come into me talking about my pits? Yeah, well, sorry. <laughs> How long have people here been crocheting? Ooh, good question, Ray Ray. Uh, I've been crocheting for about 15, actually, yeah. I think I've been crocheting since I was around 15 which would mean almost 16 years now. Something like that. How, how long has everybody else been crocheting? Rhonda's been crocheting since 2022. That is a long time. Actually, wait, no, that's not a long time. That's a short time. Well, that's great though. Congratulations. I, you know what? I think my favorite year of ever of crocheting, well, I shouldn't say that because really I've loved every year of crocheting. I've just been making different stuff. But one of my most motivating years for crocheting was my first year of crocheting because it was just like, whoa, I can make anything. It's very cool. All right, so we did round three. Now rounds four, five, and six are all the same. So I can just do single crochets. We're gonna actually have to figure that eye thing out sooner rather than later, but that's okay. 
We'll figure it out. Oh, 2002. Okay, wait, that is a lot. That is, that is long. That is a long time. Samantha, do we need another mod? We might. Um, Cooper got it pretty handled right now, but uh, I will let you know, uh, Samantha, when we do start to look for more mods. Um, and if you want to, you can email me at uh, louis at clubcrochet.com and we can talk about it. Hello from Spain. Oh my gosh. Hello, Martin. How are you? Como estas? Or I'll say it. I'll say it with my uh, my Spain Spanish accent. Como estas? Cause you, cause y'all y'all always talk like como estas, and it's so cool. I, I was in France for a month, and I but I hung out with only people from Spain, and uh, I'm from California, so the only accent I know in Spanish is a Mexican accent. And so it was really interesting hearing a sp Spanish spoken with a Spanish accent. Uh, it was very cool. I am a fan. Can I put my email in the chat? Uh, I could try. Let's see. There you go. There you go. There's my email. Don't overload me with emails. I'm I'm honestly really bad at replying to emails. So uh, heads up, I'm I'm sorry if it takes a long time. Uh, I'm doing my bestest. I'm doing my bestest. So this is gonna be round three of the face. And then we can make our Spiked bobbles. I should probably do my spiked bobbles in a different color Or in our in our secondary color so that they are a little bit more obvious uh, the spiked bobbles are gonna be what we're gonna use to make the the horns So it should be pretty cool I'd like to uh, Bonnie said that crochet and dragons are two of their favorite things and I agree I love Dragons and crocheting obviously I love crocheting uh, which is why we're I've come out with like two more dragon adjacent patterns this month uh, being one being the cobalt which is actually a free pattern it's at clubcrochet.com slash cobalt um, and that pattern is uh, it's kind of like a little um, uh, like a little dragon man uh, so that pattern is brand new that's dragon ish and then the other one uh, is our mini dragon that I added to the background there, uh, which I'm very excited about. That pattern is, uh, I've been working on for quite a while and I think it's really good. Um, shout out to all the people that helped me um, edit that pattern in the rough drafts. Uh, there were a few people that were really, really helpful with that. So uh, thank you to those who were able to give me feedback. I intend to add a few more patterns to the rough drafts uh, this month, um, so keep a lookout there. Four, one, two, three, four. This will be five. Really, that's where the spiked bubble goes, and then one, and then another one. Okay, they're just like really close together. Where's the other yarn? There it is. I agree, texting is very efficient, um, but there's something, I don't know, I guess email is just like more formal, Onyx, like I find, I find using email for business or for like answering certain questions a lot easier. Um, I do sometimes use Discord, but honestly I have a really difficult time with Discord because I get so many notifications, it's like, oh my gosh. It's like, it's crazy. Cause I'm a moderator obviously on the Club Crochet Discord, but I'm also a moderator on a Discord for Brochet, which is the, um, the, uh, it's like, it's like a subreddit for crocheters that are bros, <laughs> which I, me and a friend made like a long time ago. 
and actually Cooper's also a moderator over there and I just have a like I had a really I have a really difficult time because I get like just a lot of messages there so I have a hard time with discord sometimes uh front loop fellow says hey Louie when is the next contest going to happen the next contest is going to start next month um, I actually might be doing two contests next month. I'm not sure how it's gonna work yet, but I've been thinking about doing one for the uh, World Wildlife Fund uh, fundraiser that we'll be doing. And then I've also been thinking of doing one for the, um, well, the new big, the new big product that we're gonna, we're gonna launch and talk about later this month. What days? Martin says, what days do you usually stream? I gotta go and I'd like to join again someday. Usually this time. Uh, usually it's 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time on Thursdays. Uh, but I think next week I'm gonna do a Wednesday one uh, starting at, I don't know when. Uh, I'm just gonna switch it up next week. And the reason I'm gonna do that is because I wanna do a work in progress Wednesday and it just I don't know. I just kind of want to try something different while I have this like set up in my, in my like, not living room, but kind of like my, what do I call this room? Oh, oh, well, the name I have for this room is the rainbow room, but basically my like living room, the playroom. I don't really know. Okay, so we got our horns done. Actually, those horns look really good. I'm pretty proud of that. Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. Thank you for joining, Martine, by the way. Uh, Samantha, that was my email address that I posted. Okay, so this will be the end of that round. And now we're on to round eight. If you're crocheting along with me and you're in the head, I'm on round eight right now. You kind of see how it's coming together. Uh, the head, pretty big. I mean, that's pretty massive. It'll really be like the size of a baby dragon, which I think is gonna be pretty cool. I was kind of hoping that this was gonna be even bigger. Like I was kind of going for like, hoping it would be like that big, but you know, this isn't bad. It's just, I don't know. It kind of makes me want to design another dragon, <laughs> like a big giant dragon. Maybe, maybe in the future. I've got other things to do ahead of then, but that could be a fun, fun project. Okay. Where can you get the pattern? Uh, at clubcrochet.com slash dragon is where I put the pattern for this. Uh, and the pattern is available with a Club Crochet membership or a purchase. Okay. One, two. Oh, I'm supposed to just do one. Okay, one and then an invisible decrease. Quick, quick Jimbo break. Look at that fuzzy boy. Oh my God. He is so sweet. Okay. That's it. That's all. I just, I, you know, every now and then we need one of those. And I think that's fair. Seven more single crochets here. Four. I realized last week I I was supposed to make the spikes for this guy, but I didn't. So we will also have to be doing that today. Have to be doing that today. Okay, so now we're on to the face. So it is time to figure out what we want to do with the eyes. I think the first thing we should do maybe is maybe show on, so on the mouth first and then do the eyes just simply so that it's a little bit easier for us to know where to sew the mouth. I mean, I mean, sorry, where to add the eyes. I don't know. He is a sleepy baby. Uh, where do you find the rough drafts? You can find them either at clubcrochet.com slash preview uh, clubcrochet.com slash rough drafts or if you go to club crochet if you go to the well there you go Cooper just put a link in the description for you um okay so first off let's see 
what the eye options are here how small this eye is because if it's too small we're gonna have to do something actually this isn't too bad I think if we add a little bit of white yarn behind the eyes, it will solve our our size issue here. Let's look on my other dragon to make sure I put it into this a similar spot. Looks like I go right here. Yeah, actually this size is not bad at all. I thought it was gonna be way too tiny, but... But like, look at that. That's not bad. That's not a bad size at all. That like is the right size, I think. I do think this other eye is in the wrong spot though. I think it's supposed to go, oh. I think it's supposed to go like right here. Right? So there's one eye, there's the other eye. Those are pretty good. I think it would be nice to add a little bit of white around the outside and I have an idea on how to do that uh, but before I do that we do need a locking mechanism for the back and I have that over here I forgot to bring that out oh wait I also grabbed I grabbed a little bit of our cotton white yarn so that I can uh, add the background of the eye and I grab my little scissors because they're cute and I like them. But here's my eight millimeter eyes. I'm just gonna use the backs for these and hope they'll work. I'm pretty sure they will though. Let's give it a shot. Oops, I sat on our little baby dragon. Okay. Ooh yeah, 18 millimeter eyes is huge. Uh, I actually, Front Loop Fellow, I actually have a 3D printer that I've been meaning to mess with for so long. And I'm really excited about. So that I can start 3D printing my own eyes. That is a good spot for this eye. I kind of want to make it without the mouth, but the mouth will add a lot. We should, we should add a mouth. It's just, you know, I'm tempted. Yes, white felt would totally work behind the eyes, and uh, that would definitely work. Usually, I actually do that, Rhonda, but hold on. Now that I've already attached these eyes, I don't think I'm going to be able to unattach them. And I think we can use this white yarn instead, anyhow. But let's see. Okay. Let's sit up. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I wake you up? Yeah, okay. He does that. He'll like look up and be like... Um, I believe it's called an Elegoo. It's a really... Uh, uh, by the way, I'm answering Front Loop Fellow's question, which asks what kind of 3D printer I have. I think it's called an Elegoo. It's essentially like a... Um, it's a 3D printer where the thing goes down into like a pool of resin and then it prints your print upside down and pulls it up out of the resin. It's really crazy. <laughs> yeah, we have a I have a lot of patterns. There's there's a lot more that you there's a lot more out there. I do have a pretty good I think it's a pretty good otter pattern, so I'm glad you found it. All right, let's see how this works. Okay. Here's what I got for us. What do we think about What do we think about that? I think that's pretty good. Yeah? 
It makes it really cute looking. I might even be able to do an eyelid under that. But that, I think, looks pretty cute. I think we're going to go with this and try to mimic it on the other side, too. It does add a little bit of size to it, which is nice. We'll see. Yeah, I have not been able to use it yet. I got it as a birthday gift um, last year, my 3D printer. And I just have not messed with it yet because I just have other things I want to do too. And honestly, I'm a little scared. Not because I don't think I'll know how to use it, but because I'm afraid I'm going to get addicted to it. I have a tendency, as you may know, to get addicted to crafts and to new tools and to new, you know, stuff. Dang, man. I'm so bad with my darning needle. I just throw it. I was like, oh, I don't need this anymore. I'm just going to throw it off to the side. Where the heck did it go? Oh, there it is. It's on the ground. Uh, Hannah, for my collab patterns, do I usually reach out to people or do they reach out to me? Sometimes people reach out to me, but usually I reach out to other people. Um, uh, but yeah, I, I think what I'm going to start doing in the future is a call to submissions and say like, you know, we have, an, we have a pattern or we have like a series of patterns we want to come out with. Uh, we're looking for two other collaborators to join and blah, blah, blah. I think that's what I'll probably do in the future, but I don't know yet. There's a lot of thinking that goes involved with that. And currently I am a, a team of one, so I'm having a hard time keeping up with all the other things like collaboration patterns and, and, and challenges and stuff like that. Uh, because it's tough to do that and you know ship everything out and do all the content creation too and stuff like that but you don't need to hear about all my complaints okay i'm trying to mimic the other eye but this one might be a little bit more tough I know you can't see what I'm doing here, but I'll show you the result in just a second. Uh oh, the eye's about to pop out of the head. Gotta be careful with that. So if it pops out, that is going to lead to problems later. Okay, that, uh, that side and this side. Pretty cute, pretty cute. Let's double knot it. Peter, Peter's making a crocheted duck. Cute, 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 cute. What duck pattern are you using? I know that um, Sir Pearl Gray has a really cute duck pattern, like a mallard pattern. Um, obviously we have that, we have our burb duck pattern too, but I'm guessing you're probably making a different one because I think you would have said, I'm making a burb duck otherwise. Okay, that's the eye sewn on. 
and I'm low-key thinking we just keep it without the mouth, but we made a mouth anyhow. We should probably give it a shot, huh? Plus, it might add a lot to it. Okay, let's give it a shot. Let's give it a shot. I ran out of coffee. Mm. I want more. Okay, let's try this. Let's try sewing on this mouth. See you later, Peter. Start here, and I'm just gonna start going around the base. I'm gonna go all the way around like this, and it won't look too weird, probably. The eyes are really gonna make him look super, like just a sweet, just a sweet little baby dragon. Uh, this should be extra difficult though because I cannot see the chains to work with. In the past, this has always been a really difficult part of the dragon pattern too. Sewing on the lip. Just because like, it's hard to know exactly where to sew it on. But, let's see. I should be a veteran by now though. And then we'll do the tooth right there. Does anybody know complicated knots? Oh, yeah, I have seen some of their stuff. Yeah, they are pretty dang complicated, though. I will agree with that. Mostly all of them are like, whoa. Like, they're very cool, but they're very like, oh my goodness. This is like a, this project's gonna take me a week. <laughs> I've actually, I never made one of her patterns though. That would be a good person to do a collaboration with, I'm sure. I should reach out. One right here. pretty good right that's not bad especially when we have a tooth on I always find that when I'm sewing mouths on they never look quite right until I add the tooth and then I'm like ooh, that's a good tooth or that's a good mouth rather Yeah, I that that's exactly what I kind of meant Zoe is like those patterns are fun Their patterns are cool, but like yeah, it does seem like there's a lot of things to sew together Which as you know By just what I'm doing right now 
I don't usually like sewing things on. Jimothy, how are you doing, Jim? We got we got more than one Jim here because Jimbo's here, and oh my God, did, can we just point this out real quick? Adorable. Can't even see tell what's where's his head and where's his butt. How cute is that? I think this lip is going to be longer than we need it to be, which probably won't be a problem because I think I can just hide the end on the inside probably. But we'll see. extra bits and then we'll sew on the teeth how's everybody else's day going having a chill one because I've been having a pretty chill week I mean I have a lot of things I've been working on I've made a bunch of YouTube shorts this week so that I could come out with them this month. Uh, and I'm very curious of how they're gonna do. Cause I don't really understand how the YouTube shorts stuff works just yet. I mean, like I kinda get it, but you know, it's, it's complicated stuff. Like, I don't know what exactly is gonna work or what's not gonna work. So we'll see how, we'll see how they go. I hope you guys like them when I do release them though. I think we'll add one tooth there. Okay, I got an idea for how to add the teeth too. So let's go ahead and double knot these, the lip in. And then I think we'll be good to add our teeth and then we can keep going on the crochet part of the pattern, which will be cool. Do I have a pattern for a crochet Jimbo? No, I don't yet, but gosh, do I wanna make one. The problem is he is so furry that I have to use fuzzy yarn for it. Um, and there's, you know, gotta be a decent amount of color changes. I mean, look at all the, look at all the, I mean, his hair, I, this is my favorite part of Jimbo's head is that he's got this like part in his hair that makes him look like he, he just looks like a doofus. And I love him for it. Oh, dude, thanks, Onyx. You're great. You're being so sweet. Thank you so much for being nice. By the way, quick shout out to everybody in the chat that is so nice and sweet. You guys are amazing. I love, I just love how I can guarantee that on Thursdays I'm going to go into this live stream and I know I'm just going to like get good vibes from everybody and give good vibes back. We got a good rapport going here and I, I really appreciate that. Okay, so we're gonna add our little fuzzy teeth now. I kind of wish I had 3D printed teeth right now because that would be so cute with this. So cool, rather. We can see how the lip is sewn on around the outside. And now we're gonna add teeth. I think one tooth I'm gonna add really far forward. And then the other side, I'm gonna add it really far back. Uh, because I screwed up a part and I think it'll It'll hide our mistake a little bit, but we'll see. I'm glad you like the shirt. I'm I am really proud of the shirt. I'm not gonna lie. Um. Okay, we want one, two, there, one there. so nice out right now. It is like a 10 out of 10 day and I didn't, 
get to experience. I didn't go outside at all yet. Because I woke up a little later than I wanted to. I woke up at like. I woke up at like 11 today. <clears throat> I actually woke up at like 9 30 to my cat licking my face. And then I went and laid back in bed for just a second. And then I fell back asleep. And I was like, oh no! I didn't get enough done today. Oh! But we'll see. Maybe this live stream I'll finish before the sun goes down this time. But probably not. Which, that's okay. <clears throat> okay. This needs to go off soon in. This needs to go soon in. It's not bad. For a tooth, it's kind of weird. It kind of hides the eye. So let's see if I can pull it in enough so that I don't have to worry about how it is affecting how the eyeball looks. No, I knew I was gonna pull it just a little too tight. I knew it. God. Just, just a little bit out, okay. So you wanna go pull that in just like that and then pull this end that and like that okay there we go yes that was much better okay now let's double knot it in yeah that's that's actually what I was saying front uh, front loop fellow is like that's why one of the reasons why I'm really scared to get into uh, 3d printing is because I know I can model that I'm just like Ugh, I'm gonna get addicted to this this tooth. Cut that one close enough. And we're going to cut, I'm going to cut this other tail end too because it's annoying me. And I'm in control of my own destiny. So there's only one person that can do it. But look at, honestly, look at that side of the face. Tell me that is not an adorable dragon. So far so good. We just need to get a tooth on this side now. And I guess we'll add the nether, other tooth on the other side a little close too to mimic. I was gonna make it go slightly further back, but I think it'd be better to mimic the front or mimic the other side. Let's see. Oh no, I did the thing where I threw the needle because I didn't need it for a second. There it is. Hey, Otto, how are you doing? Right there. There we go. Jimbo is starring. He's so cute. Okay. Cannot get distracted by the cat that distracts me at all points of my life. Let's just, I'm just gonna pull the knots in a little bit, but I'll show you in just a second. Okay. Pretty good. This has, this dragon has very clean, shiny teeth. 
must go to the dragon dentist. The drentist. He eats a lot of veggies. He takes care of his teeth. He brushes his teeth with a full horse every night. means that's what i said okay we got our face sewn on all done let's keep crocheting next up we're on to the body all right now's where things are gonna get juicy Jimbo's absolutely twisted. He's like a, he's playing a game of a, what's it called? The game called a twister. One. I need to get this here so I can see my pattern. churro <laughs> yeah oh bean thank you i love that frog tutorial i have to say that's one of my faves uh which one though do you mean the mini frog or the reversible one because they're both super cool in my opinion see you later rebecca thanks for joining tell tell jim i say hi and uh i hope his nose feels better Ray Ray, I can I can absolutely confirm that uh, you can you can high dive into Jimbo's fur. It's it's crazy. Like, look at this. Oh my God! If he wasn't being such a sweet little baby right now, I would I would go over there and uh, bother him a bunch. But you know what? He's being a sweet boy and he's not jumping on our lap and trying to mess up our crochet right now so i'm not going to interrupt that i'm not going to tempt the cat fate there we go Boom. hey again uh if this video gets 250 likes we're gonna do a giveaway next live stream so you should like this video down look at that that neck is coming together already all right so now we got four rounds of single crochets do it akiri snail tutorial <laughs> cat cam is a must-have on stream it's now I will try. It's hard to do the cat cam when my when the live stream is in the light box because uh, it's like too far away for the camera, but I can give it a shot. I can try to get something set up for us. Maybe we can make it so it like sh changes from the tip cam to the cat cam or something like that. Like every every minute or so. First round, we need four rounds of this, so this is gonna be round two. We 
might have to bug it, bug Jimbo in a second because I need to get the stuffing behind him. Wow, this guy is really, really cute looking. I am so excited to have this finished. It is like, look at how cute this face is. This will be the end of round two there, or round 13 rather, two more rounds. Will we be having a special appearance by Jack Gurgle today? Uh, we might be having a visual, we, we might be able to do a visual appearance, but because my microphone's over here, Jack won't come up on the mic. It's a lot easier for me to do Jack, or for Jack Gurgle to make an appearance, I should say, when uh, we're in the light box. I should make a new pattern for the, oh, we have a Phoebe. <gasps> Come here, Phoebe. Do you want to say hi to the chat? Come here. Come here. This is a very rare occurrence. Yeah. Come here. Come here. Look at this little baby. She is so cute. She absolutely loves belly rubs. So as long as I'm giving her belly rubs, she will stay here as long as we want. Unless she sees something in the background. She's already starting to purr. Let's see. Oh, let's get a little higher up so you can get on camera a little bit better, Phoebe. Hi. Say hi. Phoebe is really shy. She does not like to come out. She usually is just sitting on the bed and relaxing. But she's so cute. I guess we can take a break. We can take a break and talk to the chat for a bit. That's right, Akiri. Kari, two cats that we can throw in the fire. This one makes great firewood. Not really. You make terrible firewood. You barely even burn, and you'd freak out and run all over the house. Such a sweet baby. Okay. Now, now is where we're stuck where she's not gonna go anywhere unless I make her go somewhere. I wonder if we can get her to chill on our lap. Can you hang out right here? There you go. That's comfy, right? This is great and not difficult at all for me to crochet with. Yeah, hi. Hi. Oh my God. Dude, hi. <laughs> Stop. Not fair. Um, when are we gonna get more episodes of Loop and Pearl? I recently got addicted. <laughs> Thank you, Ivy. Uh, the, good question. Um, I'm not sure yet. Jules is in San Francisco for a while. So it won't be until she gets back, but I do want to get it going again. You wanna go? Just gonna hang out here. Okay. You make your decision. I'm gonna grab my crochet while you're doing this. There we go. Get it all out. Okay. You stay on my lap. 
good kitty. I'm sorry, I know I'm getting yarn on your tail and you don't like that. You can lay down. Do you wanna lay down? Who would have thought we'd have a double cat day? When are we gonna get new episodes of Snail Talk? <laughs> This is snail talk. Okay, I think I had one more round here. Do you remember Phoebe? Oh, sweet baby. She's such a sweet baby. I call her PB a lot, like peanut butter. She's a little chunky peanut butter. Oh, I'm sorry, front loop fellow. Since when are you gonna play with the yarn? That's a new. Um, okay, how many rounds did I do before I got so rudely interrupted? I think I only did three. So I think we got one more round here. Double cat. Amaze feed, welcome. <laughs> Phoebe's playing with the yarn gonna have cat spit all over it. Normally Phoebe is very shy and doesn't like to play, but I think she's just feeling lonely because Jules isn't here. Do both kitties get along? They get along pretty well. Um, I think that Jimbo is a little aggressive for Phoebe. I think she likes to be, she likes to have her space. And she's not as playful usually. Oh my god, she's so cute though. I tell you what, she is the cutest thing in the world. Okay. I am on to round 16. How long has Jules been in San Francisco? She just got there on Sunday, um, but she's gonna be there till April. So she's gonna be there for a while. I'm obviously gonna go visit her. Uh, I might visit her a few times, but uh, yeah. Yeah, she's gonna be gone for a little bit. She just, she got, she was supposed to do the show before the pandemic and then the show, oh my God, Phoebe's rolling around and super cute. Um, and then uh, obviously the show got canceled during the pandemic. And then uh, they decided, okay, we can do it now. And it's like, okay, but we moved. <laughs> but Jules is like, you know what? I can do it. So she went up and uh, I think she's having a good time. Obviously we talk every day, but what is she doing while she's there? Uh, well, she does work. She, her, um, the office that she works for is in San Francisco. So she's going into the office now pretty often, uh, just to, you know, show her face a little more while she's there. Cause normally, obviously we work from home. Um, so she's going to the office a lot and working. Uh, her parents live in across the bridge in San Francisco. So she is, um, staying with them and doing rehearsals that night. It is very exciting for her, but I can imagine, I think I think it's very exhausting. So everybody wish her the best of luck because I know she, Jules is much more introverted than I am and energy is hard to come by and she's gonna be using a lot of it this week. So I, yeah, I'm just everybody, give her your energy from wherever you are at. <laughs> But I miss her so much already. A bunch. It's very lonely, this house without her. But I got my cats. <laughs> Who would have known? Who would have thought I'd become such a cat dude? Everybody. Um, okay. 
Get our two rounds done there. Now we're on to round 19. One single crochet. time is it it's 4 15 okay cool so we're doing fine on time we're gonna be ending this live stream at probably six uh, hopefully we'll be done with this by six if we're not done with it by six we'll be doing uh, we'll be finishing it up next week so just heads up there draining your life energy for jewels <laughs> thanks bean Bean ban. We are inciting a ban on beans. Bean ban. Bean bag chairs are ruining our children's attention span. Ban on beans. I don't know what I'm talking about. Okay, and then one round of 12. still here? She is. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Bean Ban. Front Loops is trying to come up with a yo-yo routine for a talent show. What? Does anybody have any ideas or trick combos? I mean, I definitely don't. I don't know. I know walk the dog and the one yo-yo move where it goes up and down. <laughs> ban on salt. Akari says, ban on salt. They hurt snails, ban on salt. Here on Snail Talk, we're gonna be talking today about salt. What is my favorite thing that I've crocheted? Man, that is a hard question. I mean, probably my like, I my answer is probably a stitch to my board game that I crocheted, but it might be a cop out because it's kind of a lot of little things put together. Um, Jack Gurgle comes to mind of my one of my favorite things I've ever crocheted. That thing's pretty cool. It's like a puppet. Goblin puppet. Um, this dragon is pretty cool. This dragon might end up being going up there because, I mean, look at how dope he's looking. Big dragon. Uh, we do need to stuff its head up, actually, before it gets too late and too difficult to stuff. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna grab some stuffing and a stick because we're definitely gonna need a stick to help stuff the head up. What a good boy. Okay, so we got the stuffing. Uh, now we need a stick. You know what, I think I'll use a pencil. I grabbed a stick too, just in case. stuffing in the head. Just a little bit more. This guy's gonna take, end up taking a lot of stuffing, I can tell. Do we have any new patterns coming soon? The mini dragon should be out in a week or two. Uh, and then we have a whole bunch of new patterns coming out uh, after that soon.
So yes. The most recent one is going to be the mini dragon though. That should be out in a couple days. Or, or next week. Okay, so we got stuffing in the head. Uh, and now we can keep going on the body. I just wanted to get the head a little bit stuffed up before it gets too late. And too difficult. Look at all this stuffing though. We're going to keep this right here. And grab our crochet hook. Okay. That was a round of increasing, I believe. Four. Okay, yeah, so we're on round. T if you're following along by the way, I'm on round 20. Um, I know I'm not teaching how to crochet this in the video, but you know, just in case, um, I'm on round 20 right now. Three, four, five. You need a hint? Um,. One of the patterns that we're going to be making is on screen now, I believe, if you look really closely. And that's your hint. Oh, Linda! Linda says, loves the dinosaurs, making them for the nephew. I'd had to pause on your stitch crochet. <laughs> well, thanks, Linda. Have you have you seen the game yet that we're making for that? That's pretty cool, too. It's called Lava Run. Um, it's currently being tested out, uh, and I'm still looking for feedback because I haven't been able to update it yet. But that should be updated soon, too, if I get my butt together and start doing it. I know, right, Sarah? Is it a toucan? It is not a toucan. One, two. Although the toucan will be coming out this year. Three as like a bonus pattern eventually. get back into the burb world. Five, we still have way enough yarn. I'm not stressing about how much yarn we have at all, which is super good. Four, five. Crochets, okay. Is it a pattern for how to crochet yarn with yarn? Yes, you're so smart. <laughs> how did you know? This boy's getting chonky. done maybe around that actually that might be kind of cool like laying down and having that like around it that could be kind of neat that could be kind of dope so what are y'all up to anybody been playing any good games recently I've been addicted to the new Metroid 
It's very cool. Um, I've been trying to mentally prepare myself for the new Zelda. I don't think I can. Uh, you know, I don't think I can mentally prepare myself is what I mean. But maybe. Okay, cool. Uh, will he need further wiring? Yes, we're gonna add a wire to the neck for sure so that we have a, you know, a wire there. Um, and then wiring on the arms and wiring in the tail. The neck and the tail might actually be a single wire that goes all the way through him, but I'm not sure if, if I'm gonna be able to do that or not. It might have to be two different wires. Move my big head. Here you go. Two, three. Okay, yeah. Six. Oh, it releases midway through your deadlines for university. That is going to be the best um, reward, though, for when you're done. You're going to be like, I'm done! I'm done now I never have to go to school again except for you will and then you won't go to school because you'll play too much Zelda Pokemon and Kingdom Hearts I've actually never played Kingdom Hearts before it's just too complicated and weird also I've never really had a PlayStation that I could play before now and now I have that. I got a PlayStation right there that I rarely play. A friend gave it to me. He had two of them. And I was like, I'll buy the second one off you for cheap. And he said, sure. But now I don't really play it. I only play Nintendo because I'm addicted. Hey, I learned a, a new word in Japanese. Hatto means pigeon. So, if you're looking at a pigeon wearing a hat, it, everything makes sense now. You're welcome. I've taught you a very valuable thing today. Look at this. Look at that. It's coming together for sure. Oh my god, imagine him laying down, curled up around that pot. That's gonna be pretty dope. I need to play Wizard 101. Let me look it up. Wizard 101. That's 102. There we go. Looks interesting. Oh, it's from 2000. It's a MMORPG? Wow. It's like a... It's like World of Warcraft, but for wizards. Which I guess World of Warcraft does have wizards in it. That's weird. Can you see me still? Because it signed me out. Oh, there we go. Played the fifth, Akari. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so we need to do three more rounds here, and then we will. Um, what comes after that? Oh, so on the arms. We need we get to sew on the arms after that, which is probably going to be the most frustrating part of this pattern. So that's great, actually. Get that done with. Because it all should be pretty downhill from there. I don't know. Maybe. Okay. This 
guy's getting big, though. It looks all funny, like, whippling around, around like that. <laughs> Whoa, Linda, your son worked on that game. That's cool. Whoa, Cooper's playing a VR game? A VR MMO? That's wild. I gotta start working on my Earth Day pattern this year too, really bad. Um, I can't work on it tonight, but I have a really, really good idea for it. Um, I think this year's Earth Day collaboration is gonna be really small because I've just, I have way too much things on my plate right now, so I can't do like, like last year we did one, two, three, four patterns, I think, or five? Five, we did five patterns last year. Uh, collaboration. This year I think I'm only gonna do two. I think it's just gonna be me and Sir Pearl Grey because I just can't. I just can't. <laughs> I have so much to do. I cannot. I can't. I can't. <laughs> so, but I am really, really excited about mine. Uh, and I know that Sir Pearl Grey is really excited about theirs as well. So, I can't wait. I know he's working on it right now. Um, I do want to reach out to Drew Bizu to see if they'll do a pattern also, but I just need to make sure like I can handle it first. Hi Onyx, welcome back. Okay, I think we got, this will be our, oh no, we got one more round after this and then we can start doing, uh, start sewing on the arms, which should be fun. And then we get to uh so on the wings and then it's going to be very difficult for us to crochet but we're going to keep going <laughs> the reason it's going to be difficult to crochet is because there's going to be like these things here it's just going to be massive we'll see uh-oh the baby boy has stirred he's moved now he's sleeping on the rug usually when he does this he's only on the rug for like few minutes and then he wants to play or he he'll jump on my lap and fall asleep here so we're gonna be running out of time soon to especially for the sewing on part so we gotta get cruising oh, that's your take on it. good yawn Jimbo Jimbo makes me yawn oh my god he's so cute This music and the the chillness of the chat, everything is great. Everything is chill and great. All right, just about done with this round. And we're gonna get up and get some wire and start messing with the arms. Might be able to use pipe cleaners for the arms. We'll see. Okay, body is getting big. Yes, it is. Hi, buddy. Hello. Okay. Here's the wires that we have. Uh, I believe these are gonna be too long, so we might need to end up making more. But here's the arms that we have. Yeah, they're way too long for the arms. Um, this one actually might work for both arms if I go like through and then around. But then when you bend one arm, it'll bend the other arm. So that might not be a good idea either. Hmm. What do you think, Jimbo? Do we make new ar new wires for the arms or do we just go with this arm? This wire and make it go through. He's sleeping. Let's do... Hey, Tina. Welcome to the chat. Uh, let's go ahead and make another one because this, I mean, we can use this one for the head, which will be nice. You know, this will go all the way up the neck. 
So we're gonna have to make two new wires, which is fine. That just means we need to get the power tools out. So, actually, you know what? Let's see if we can use pipe cleaners first. I also remembered I had these super strong wires that were sent to me as like an example for something. So I'm, I could use those too, but pipe cleaners might work even easier. Let's try to, um, let's try this way that I normally do where I wind the pipe cleaner up in half and my hair's looking crazy on this side. Look at that. I'm getting wild hair. I need a haircut super bad. All right. Akari, Akari wants us to use the power tools. But let's see, this, this might work and be a lot easier. Oh, Jimbo's back in his bed. Good boy. Good boy. God, he's so cute. Okay. They might be strong enough. These might be strong enough. I do, I think we should double it up though, like um, someone was saying. So let me grab, yeah, let me grab. I need more pipe, pipe cleaners. I think pipe cleaners will work fine though. Okay. So I'm gonna just double the pipe cleaner up like uh, Like Emerald Turtle said. Okay, so I'm just gonna hold two pipe cleaners together and then bend it in half. And then wind them together. Because, yeah, I just think that's a little easier. Um, actually, maybe I'll do it like this. That's easier. Problem is it does make it way shorter, but actually that that's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, that'll work. Let's do one more turn. Okay, that's one. Oh yeah, that this should be strong enough. Okay, and now we're gonna do another one of those. Two pipe cleaners together. Half. I decided to go with purple pipe cleaners because that way you won't see it on the inside so we don't have to worry about that Tina thank you for your support I'm gonna add a, a pom-pom to the collection for you don't let me forget about that but let's finish this stuff first Hey, again, if you like this video, like it down below. We're trying to get to 250 likes in this video. But we'll see. We'll see. cleaners we got our arms that's 
pretty good. Now let's test the bending. So if we if we did this right, this should be able to bend in a 90 degree angle like that. That's pretty good. That'll work. That'll work. Okay, now we need to figure out where we want to sew these on. So it looks like I sewed them on on the other one like up here, pretty high up, like right like that. That's probably, probably pretty good. So let's go do one pipe cleaner here. That would be one of our arms. And then we'll put this over it to make sure that's where we want it. I think that's pretty good. Right? Yeah, because that gives us room for the wing too, which is nice. Okay. And then the other arm will go Same round here, maybe. Is that too far or too close? Actually, no. That's that's pretty much exactly where I think I want the arms. Look at his little pipe cleaner arms. Help! Help! Ah! Wind the pipe cleaner on the inside first, and then spread it open so that it holds its place. Uh, and then we'll do that to this one as well. Open it. There we go. And let's sew this arm on. Actually, you know what, let's... Do I have the stuffing thing in there? Let's stuff the top of the arm a little bit. Just the hand. Onyx and Cooper are going on about a game. I don't even know what game they're talking about. Cyber Ninja? Something? Sounds pretty cool. Front loop fellow, what did you miss? You didn't miss too much. We're just adding, we're just sewing the arms on. So I'm gonna get the arms started to sew on and then I'm gonna stuff around the pipe cleaner which will help us help fill in some pieces too. The important thing is I need to make sure that the arm is sewn on in the correct direction. Ha! 
Hi, where are the avocados? Where are the avocados? For me, avocados have been rotting for me like really fast recently. I don't know what's going on, but like I'll buy them and then the next day they'll be like gross. I'll be like, what the heck? I just got these yesterday. They were perfectly fine. They were under. But anyhow. Kitty, welcome. Oh, I came in the recommended. Welcome to the channel. I hope you enjoy it. We're making, right now we're crocheting a giant dragon. Uh, and we have our cat cam on. And I highly suggest you subscribe because we do fun things like this every single week. Good. A little bit more. I just want to make sure that the stuffing goes all the way up the arm. Because the closer, the, the more stuffed the arm is going to be with this wire on the inside, the better it'll bend. It'll hold its shape better. So we're going to try to do something like that. Avocados are yummy. Totally agreed. Pell, put the cat back on cam, please. Sure thing. There you go. We can watch him sleeping for a little while. As I finish sewing this arm on. You started crocheting two weeks ago and you're already selling at school. Oh my God, that's how I started too, dude. Where the avocados are, congratulations. That's exactly how I started my uh, business, actually. Because I sold them at school and then eventually I uh, started to sell them at craft fairs and then I started doing patterns and stuff instead so it worked out for me I highly suggest you keep it up all right I'm just gonna pull this in yeah I know totally understandable why you would like the cat more than me I mean like look at him he's so cute okay so we got one arm sewn on, that's pretty good. And we'll do the next arm over here. Where is the other arm? There it is. All right, let's start by stuffing the top up a little bit and then we'll switch over to it. Jimbo, such a sweet boy. Oh my God, fine. Here, I should just do a 50-50 screen so you can see Jimbo and you can see. Let's get him a little bit bigger here. There you go. Good old cat. Well, not he's not that old actually. He's pretty young. He's only five, four, four, five. He's just still a baby, I think, in my opinion. In my professional opinion, my cat is a baby. Pell, Pell says they've tried crocheting before, but your hand started to blister? What the heck, Pell? Man, you were going ham. Sounds like uh, you need to uh, chill out when you crochet. That definitely should not be happening. All right. Emerald Turtle. Oh my God, Emerald Turtle's making a dragon with crochet thread. I cannot wait to see how small that is, Emerald Turtle. Dude, post a picture on the Discord channel when you're done. I can't wait to see that. That's crazy. That must be hard to make. Here you go, Pell. This is what we got so far for the dragon's face. He'll have spines running along the, his back as well.
Thank you to Joe Martinvnuka for subscribing. And Sarah's Little Corner of the Crocheted World, thanks for subscribing. Yeah, it's a, we got a cute one going on here, man. This is gonna be cute. All right, we'll go one, two, three, four. One, two. Actually, I think I'm a little off, but that's okay. Oh my god, you made Grogu with thread? Did you use the my pattern for Grogu, or did you use a different one? Because my pattern with thread would be literally like like that big. You can make earrings. Grogu earrings. Oh my God, that'd be actually super cute. Crochet Jimbo next. I think we can, I think we can make that happen in a future live stream. I do have the next few live streams planned, but I do think that's, that would be a fun one, Akari. Okay, so here's the lowdown actually. I really want to do what I really want to do is I have I brush Jimbo like like once every few days and I get so much fur. Like seriously, a crazy amount. Jules doesn't want me to do this, but what I really want to do is I want to crochet or make yarn out of his fur and then crochet a Jimbo with Jimbo fur. But Jules is like, oh my God, please don't do that. That's disgusting. And I'm like, it's not that gross. <laughs> it would be super cute. <laughs> She's like, don't do that. That's weird. You're gonna be a weirdo. I was like, I'm like, Jules, guess what? Like newsflash, I already am a weirdo. Way too late for that. Hey. Do do it while out of town. I might. I very well might. I gotta start doing the collection. The difficult part with collecting Jimbo's fur though is that because he has gray fur in parts and white fur in parts, I have to brush his fur like with two separate, I would have to brush with two separate brushes to collect the fur in different colors. So that way when I turned him into yarn, I didn't have just like, gray yarn, because I need some that is white. Okay, so we got the arms now. They do bend. They're a little bit difficult to bend, but honestly, they're not that bad. His head is so floppy because he don't, we don't have the wire in it yet. Okay, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna double knot using the two tail ends from the, both the arms. I've been watching the show on, I think it's on Hulu, but it's from like TBS or something. I don't know, but it's, it's called uh, people of earth and I just can't stop thinking about it. It's like about aliens coming to visit people. It's a, it's a comedy. It's like kind of silly, kind of fun. I don't know. It's a good one though. I recommend it. I'm just going to stuff all this tail, all these tail ends into the body because why not? Better than wasting our yarn. Actually, you know what? Let's cut it. I'm still gonna use it to sew on. I'm just gonna cut it so that we don't have those threads like getting pulled out later. But we will use this for stuffing. Ow, I poked myself. Okay, next we need to add the wings on the outside. Um, Onyx, that actually used to be, that's actually how I got into YouTube was I did that. Uh, I started, I made stop motion out of crochet. I called them Yarnimations. Uh, and that's what my original Louis Loops channel was uh, all about. 
Okay, first wing is gonna go on, actually we'll put the first wing on over this arm. Uh, I should get rid of all these stitch markers so that they don't get in the way. It's just under Louis Loops. Actually, if you type in Yarnimation, you actually might find it because I think I did a uh, like a playlist for them all. Okay, this wing needs to just go just above. Let's look on our finished one. Yeah, just above the arms, like literally right above them. One, two. Now the difficult part here is these ends are so long. They do not need to be this long. Um, we also need our pliers, I think, to wind these around and cut the ends. Yeah, we'll definitely need our wire. Okay, so let's get our wire cutter. Hey, Cosmo. Oh, it's Cosmo's sister, hello. What was your name again? I forgot, I'm sorry. Where do you find the Discord channel? It's at clubcrochet.com slash Discord. There's actually a link in the description of this video. Man, seriously, like look at my hair. It's getting wild and crazy. Okay. Um, I'm actually gonna cut, I'm gonna cut these shorter before I put it in the body. So it's a little bit easier for us. hard I have not made a snail yet that is true I well I've never made a video tutorial for a snail I have made a snail before but you are correct I a snail should be made I think we're gonna do a whole series of bugs eventually okay cool so that works there now we just need to wind these wires on the inside, which is gonna be a little tough. Eh, might not be that bad. Let's see. I don't think I have a crocheted, the crocheted snail anymore. I, it was when I was crocheting a long time ago. I can hear Phoebe downstairs. I think she's playing with something. Unless that's a squirrel on the roof or something. Oh, it is a squirrel on the roof. I hear a squirrel up there, right above us. That's kind of cool. It's like hitting something against the roof. It might be a crow. Jimbo heard it too. You can see him propping his head up. Okay. Now I need to sew all these sections of this wing in. Have I ever crocheted a radio or a lamp or a stop sign? No? Well, you better get going. <laughs> You're <a> weirdo. <laughs> Emma. I'm sorry I had forgotten your name. But hello, Emma. Thanks for joining. What are you up to today, Emma? Actually, that is not where I want to put this end. I want to put it right. Uh oh, he stirs. Oh, he just moves. Oh my gosh, look at this. 
What? What even is he? What even is this thing? Help, someone explain. What even is this thing? It's too cute. Ugh. Ugh. It's a problem. I'm physically... I'm, I'm having physical harm done to me by that dang adorable cat. Lip gloss does not taste good. Well, it sure smells good. Are you sure? Try a little bit more. Eat a little bit more lip gloss. Maybe it's gonna be, maybe it's good. You're make, Emma's making pretzels. I want pretzels so bad right now. I would, I would love, can you send me one? Send me, send me pretzels. Looking for pretzels, give me them. Is that a dragon sleeping on the bean bag? What is that thing? <laughs> yeah, it's a very fuzzy dragon. Oh, you mean next to the bean bag? Wait. No, I get what you're saying. Oh, right up to there. There we go. Okay. Wing is almost sewn on. It's a bit of a wild wing. Like, it's really moving and wiggling around. So we're going to have to... I have to like bend it in or something? I don't really know yet. But we got one of the two wings sewn on. See how it's coming together? I mean, obviously it needs to be bent a little bit to be something. The problem is it doesn't want to like... It'll probably be better once we have like a... Oh, you know what I should do also? Is I should do a... I should sew this end down. Like this, so that it stays up more like that. I can do that. Can I do that? I can do that. Oh no! Ah! I, I seriously feel like I have a a problem in my brain where I just get rid of needles. I just throw them away like a doofus. It's so dumb. It's such a dumb thing that I do. And it's like, I keep saying, don't do that. But some kind of mental block in my brain goes, do it. Do it again. You don't need this needle anymore. You're never going to need to see it again. Such a doofus. Oh, I'm so glad I cut the yarn on the inside. That would have been, this would have been really messy and difficult to deal with. Um, okay. Next thing I want to do, I'm going to go around these to maybe help try to keep them, keep the wing up. And then we'll double knot everything together. And then we got one more wing. And then we keep going on the body. I don't know if we're gonna finish this tonight. I really hope we do, but I got a 6 p.m. I we turned into a pumpkin tonight. Because I'm gonna need to eat food. And plus, since next week's work in progress Wednesday, I mean, this is a work in progress. You know? My lighting is getting dark. It's like it's uh, getting darker outside or something. Let's see if we can't fix that. Oh, that's 
the wrong one. Oh, that's a lot better. Wow, that's like a lot better. <laughs> All right. Maybe it's a little much. There we go. Okie dokie. to get more I actually might wind the ends of these together the ends of each of the wings together so that they sit because like look it, it's like it's like it does not want to be up this wing does not want to stay up so we're gonna we might need to do some trickery to get that to stay up by I'm thinking if we can wind this wing to the other wing that might help but we'll see but let's get this other wing sewn on. The wings are tough, not gonna lie. Especially when it's this big. Like, ah. Okay, wing number two is in there. I'm gonna wind it together. Cats look <laughs> like cute old people. <laughs> That's funny. They kind of do. Oh my god. Emma, that's a great idea. Emma said uh, we should crochet a life-size Jimbo so that Jimbo has a brother. And we'll call it... What's... what's would it be Evil Jimbo? his evil twin brother auto erotics 21 I like that idea I, I can maybe try to do that I should just call you auto though wings are big. They are not staying upright. So we're going to have to just do some shenanigans on the inside of this body here. I'm essentially trying to wind around the other wire, but man, it is a complicated mess in here. Ugh, that's too tough. All right, we're going to cut this one shorter because it's just like this long jabby bit. That works. God, it is a mess in there though. It like, it hurts my hands to put them in there because they keep getting poked. Okay. But... Oh god, I did the thing. I did the thing. Where's my needle?
What's wrong with me? Okay. Okay, buddy. No, don't don't worry about me, Jimbo. It's just a. I just can't find the needle. Oh. Oh, there it is. Wait, no, that's just a piece of wire. I'm gonna grab another needle. <laughs> Such a goof. I'm sure I'll find it eventually. Hi, buddy. Good morning. Good morning. Hey. That is not a chew toy. That is the wire for the computer. Please do not bite that. Dude. Hi, bud. Oh, there's the needle. You're laying on it. Good job. You found it. Jimbo found the needle. Could I wire the wings to the neck? Yeah, maybe. That could work. That might could work. Might could work, maybe. Mayhaps. Per, per probablys. Boy is getting hungry, though. I got a bunch of leftover pizza, though. So I'm not too stressed. It is going to be too cool when it's done. I totally agree, Onyx. Friend is also having a really hard time sleeping, Akari. He like barely slept last week. We were talking on the phone, and he was like, Help! I can't sleep. I was like, I don't know how to help you. even bigger yarn you'll have an even bigger dragon is my assumption and I think that's a really good idea okay needle computer don't you forget Lou Jimbo. Okay. Yeah, this is just the regular dragon pattern, but with big yarn. Exactly, Onyx. Good night, everybody. Good night, Tina. Life-size dragon? This could be a life-size dragon. Life-size baby dragon, right? Oh my god, he's so cute. I wish you guys could see him right now. He's looking right at me like, hey, what are you doing? Okay, we got wings, arms. Uh, let's go ahead and add the wire in the neck so he's not so flippity floppity. We're gonna do long wire or short wire? Long wire would be, has the possibility of being very annoying. So let's do the short wire. Okay, short wire is in the neck, keeping it a little straighter. I'm going to wind the wires from the wings 
all around like a big wiry mess. I can, oh my God, they're so strong though. I kind of regret getting such strong wires for this because they're just like really difficult to wind around things. Okay. Really, that did help keep this other this wing up a little bit. It's just I don't know if I can do it for both wings. Okay. Attacking the yarn. Okay, I think it's time for you to come on my lap. Come here. Come here. Oh. Hi, buddy. You're being a nuisance down there. Can I say hi? Okay, it's a Jimbo on my Jimbo. Wow. So cute. Look at his little foot. Look at them little toe beams. Ow. That hurts. Biting too. Ow, that's my finger. I need that for pointing and things. You can bite your tail. Sometimes I like to do this because I know he'll try to bite me and then I just shove his tail in his mouth and then he, and then he just starts cleaning himself. What gauge wire is this? I think it's one pound gauge. Start collecting the fur. They want me to start collecting your fur. There we go. There we go. What? Okay. I love you still. Playing with my yarn. But I love you though. Okay, we want to stuff the neck a little bit. See, be careful. I could have hurt you. That could have hurt you. Okay. Taking this stuff in all the way up the neck. I'm gonna try to bulk this stuffing up a little bit so it's easier to get up there. Hey, don't bite me, feet. dangerous project. There are so many wires. It is like, ah. The stuffing is helping us keep it up though. At least the neck. She is a little weird. No, he is coming together well. That's what you said, right? 
No? What are you saying then? You want to play? You want to hang out? I know you do. You always want to. We're probably going to end up bending the wings in so that they're closed because they do not want to stay into any like feasible wing shape right now. No, they don't, do they? So we're probably going to have to do like something fancy with it once everything's all done. But you know what? That'll be for when we're done. So we're good for now. It's only for now. What time is it? It is five, almost 5.30, 5.22 for me. Uh-oh, the neck wire. Look at the neck wire. I bent it all weird. Let's fix that. Put it back in there. Pretend we never took it out. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Cooper. I'm glad you recognized the, the reference. All right, I'm just gonna stuff this a little bit so that the wire stops poking me in the hands as, as hard. And that way, maybe the stuffing will hold the wings up a little bit too, which would be nice. I kind of wish I did one long wire that went through the wings. And I guess we still might be able to do that, but we'll see. It's just this wire is like literally backwards. See? So we need to turn it. not that bad it's not that bad like for the turn of the wings and, and they're staying up relatively well but it is bending weird wow he's really heavy like a pound already probably more okay we'll get back to the wings in a little bit let's keep on keep it on five worlds explorer all right i'll see you later emma thanks for joining tell tell your brother i say hi um okay you're not gonna let me crochet i need that yarn i need the yarn that you're laying on he's resting his head on it it's very cute, but I need it. All right, we are on to round 27. Yeah, we're definitely not gonna finish this today. We only got half an hour left. No, so we're gonna have to finish it next week with a work in progress live. And then we'll finish this and we'll make a bunch of other stuff too. Yeah, isn't that great? It's great. He agrees, Jimbo agrees. You need extra crochet muscles. Okay, no, no, no. Here, play with this one. Play with this one. There you go. No, 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 no. I need that yarn. No, I need that yarn. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, here, get it. Get it. Good job. Can you get on camera? No? Up here. Hey, come up here. There you go. You want to come up on the table? You can come up on the table. Go for it. That way people can see how cute you are. And attack. Did you get 
stuffy. You need it. Yarn in your mouth. Yeah, agreed. Totally agreed, Onyx. That's why normally I have to kick him out for the streams. Because he's just so crazy. And he just always wants my attention. Chill out, buddy. Okay, what what is this round? Nine. Okay, one, two. This part's gonna be hard because I have to like hold it up. Three. What are you doing, bud? Four. Five. Six. Seven. Whew. Eight. Oh my god, my arm. Okay, I had to do a little bit of alterations, but nothing that bad. I just moved over where the decreases were in this round so that they line up a little bit better. Because I sewed on wings and stuff a little sideways, but that's okay. Truth or dare? Ah, uh, let's start with the truth. I don't think I want to do a dare right now. So I think I need to count my next round. Or before my next round, rather. Let's count. Should be 15, but 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 9, 10. Oh, we are way off count. How did I mess that up? How the heck did it get so big? Yeah, uh, I goofed up somewhere and increased it a little bit bigger than it's supposed to be. So he's gonna have a bit of a bigger belly, but that's okay. And his tail is gonna be a little longer, but I mean, whatever. Uh, is it true that I'm gonna make a p pattern for a snail soon? Yes. But it, it's going to take longer than you want it to. Just gonna decrease slow here. Six. Four. Five. Six. Whew. 
truth or dare again? I'm gonna do truth again. I, that, that truth was not even a good truth or dare. Power through it, Bean Bean. You gotta power through. You'll be so much happier knowing later you don't have to stress over it. This guy got fat belly, big belly dragon. It's like you're pregnant. 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 We got a pregnant dragon. Light Heroes is making a dra or making a dolphin. Yeah, dude, Linda, that is a really, really hard uh, pattern. The baby, the little tiny skull, super difficult. But congratulations. Okay, one second. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Okay. Uh, Akari, you are not playing truth or dare right. Truth or dare isn't supposed to be yes or no questions. It's it's more like what is blank? But to answer your question, is it true that my favorite bug are those glow worms? Uh, no, I don't think that is my favorite bug. I think my favorite bug... I really like jump uh, those little jumping spiders, but Jules hates spiders, all spiders. So spiders are a no-go in this household, which is unfortunate because I actually do kind of like those bugs. Um, I also like, I mean, I like ladybugs. Who doesn't like ladybugs though? I kind of like ants just because they're fascinating. And those glow worms are really cool. So I do like glow worms, but I don't know if they're my favorite. Okay, well, hi, Mackenzie. Hopefully I remember that. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna, that's a good idea actually to make giant crocheted bonimals for this guy, for this gal, this very pregnant, pregarnant uh, dragon. Okay, where are we at here? Want that to be decreased, single crochet decrease. Single crochet decrease. So we need one, two, and then a decrease. One, two, and then decrease. Pragonanant. What was that? Jimbo just went. What'd you? Did you two? What was that? Little weirdo. Yeah, let's let's move the camera a little so that way they can they can see your glory. How glorious this fuzzy boy is. Move that over so that you can lay down. Lay down. Good boy. Here, I'll turn, I'll tilt the camera for you too. Cause you're such a fuzzy boy. There we go. Okay, fine. Dare. Akari, don't make me regret this. Please, I beg of you.
What a belly you got, Mr. Dragon. All the better to eat you with. Oh, Maze Feet is your brother. Well, hi, Alex. Oh, Akari. I can't do that. We only have 30 more minutes for the live stream. Akari wants me to take a break to eat pizza. And don't you agree with him? No, I don't want to eat pizza right now. Are you going to keep yelling at me? I love when he does this. He licks his armpits, he cleans his armpits, and he like stands up on his on his haunches to do it. It's very cute. You all right? Okay. I don't want to eat a pizza right now. I need to finish this first and then we can pizza. And then we can pizza. I know Jimbo agrees, but he agrees with everything you say, Akari. That doesn't count. <sighs> yeah, I know. Let me finish this first, though. One, two. It's supposed to be a decrease here. Do you want to sit on my lap? Do you want to sit on my lap? Come here. Come on up. Up, up. Okay. You do you. You dare me to call Jules right now. Oh. She's, I think she's in at work, but I can try it. I'll te how about I text her right now? Because I don't want to bug her if she's at work or, or doing something. and I don't want to bug her like that. But I'll, let me text her. Here, we'll leave her, a voice, we'll leave her a voice text. Ow! Don't... Okay, hold on. There we go. Hi, Jules. Say hi. Okay, great. Uh, we are on the live stream and they dared me to call you, but I didn't want to bug you if you were doing something. So this is a voice message instead. Anybody have anything special they want to say to Jules? Just hi. I think they're all just going to say hi. Hi, love you. Hope you're having a good day. Say hi to Jules. One more time. Perfect. Bye. That works. I think that counts. I just don't want her, I don't want her to be, cause she might be in the middle of a meeting with work cause she's been working late every day. I don't want to bug her. Hi, 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 hi. Oh, there you are. Come on, sit on my lap. Yeah, what? Okay. Crazy boy, you're crazy. Okay, where were we? One more round of just 12. Look at how big that belly is. Homie's got belly. Girl, girl, you got a belly. Pergarnanant. Pergarnanant. I'm saying it right. You're saying it wrong. I'm gonna stuff it with all this stuff. When am I gonna crochet a Jimbo hat? <laughs> That'd be fun. Oh my gosh. attacking all of the yarn he's totally ruining the ball of yarn but you're so he's like looking at me for like is this okay no no it's not okay Jimbo 
They said meow if you like snails. He said, Arr. You're crazy, my dude. You're crazy. Hey, don't ruin my yarn, bud. I'll give you something else to play with. Here, use this yarn. You want yarn? Go get that yarn. Here, ready? Ready? We're gonna get you in the cat cam, ready? We're gonna switch cams. Ready? Hey, hey, and get it. You didn't do it. Nope, 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 not, nope. Oh, geez. Oh, God. Oh, Lord. What's happening? Okay, come on, Jimbo. Come on, let's just, you wanna play? This is his favorite place to play. So, I think we should probably call it. I think we should probably call it for the day. Oh my gosh, you're so cute, Jimbo. Because we we are having a difficult time focusing right now. And we have next week also. I'll say pickle. Pickle, pickle. There, I said it. Twice. Let me do, I'll do, I'll try to do one more round here to see if Jimbo will stay where he's at and not come and fight me. But I'm having a hard time focusing and I still need to eat pizza per uh, Onyx's or Akari's request. Pickle. Hey, don't bite that, dude. You're gonna ruin the camera. Stop. Don't bite that. He's attacking the camera wire. Hey, not everything is a toy. Can we say pickle 20 times? That's too many pickles. I think I've said pickle like five or six times now. Maybe pickle, 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 pickle. I think that's that's 10, 10 pickles, that's 11 pickles, and there was 12. So, I'm pretty close to saying pickle 20 times. I think that was like 13 times I said pickles. Pickle, pickle. So I think there's like two more. Pickle, pickle. Pickle. There you go. Okay. This belly is enormous. We really goofed the belly up, but like, girls got a massive belly. Half of their body is a belly. Big belly. Okay. We are gonna say, I think we're gonna say pasta la pizza, Jimbo. Why? Because you're crazy. You clearly, yeah, you clearly want to play. And we can finish this next live stream on our work in progress live. What do you think about that? Yeah, he just wants to wrestle. Okay guys, we're gonna call it today. I'm sorry, I know I'm a little earlier than I wanted to be. <clears throat> but Jimbo really is being aggressive. Hey, don't, don't fight me. Okay, he's being sweet again, he's licking my hand. Pickles on pizza, heck no, dude, that's gross. That's nasty. Girl, you nasty. Pickles on pizza is a big, that's gonna be a big no-no for me. 
Anchovies on pizza also is nasty. My mom loves anchovies on pizza, and I'm always like, oh, what are you doing, woman? But you know, we made some pretty good progress today. Obviously, we've got the body almost finished. All we're gonna have to do next live stream is sew on the feet and then finish the tail and then add the um, spines along the back, which should probably not take too long. And then once we're done with that, I have a few other projects that I really wanna finish. So it'll be nice to do like a work in progress Wednesday. We're gonna be live next Wednesday instead of Thursday. So I think maybe around three, same time. Uh, but I'll notify you via email next week. And we'll do, uh, so bring your works in progress. Anything that you need to work on or you wanna work on, bring it. Yes. Come here, you wanna say bye? Oh, you say bye? Do you understand that you're a celebrity? People love you. Yes, okay, you are an aggressive boy right now. They want us to hang up first, but you know the rules. So do I. No, you hang up first. Here, I'll finish up by playing with Jimbo in, the, in his chair for a little bit. Oh my God, no, you hang up first. Bye everybody, thanks for watching. Bye, everybody.